la 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 Good morning. I'm Cantor Phil Barron from Valley Best Shalom. You know, when I was a kid, I had an imaginary mouse. Not just imaginary. He was an imaginary Jewish mouse. And he used to teach me all kinds of things about being Jewish. I wonder if you could imagine today that there really was such a mouse. Hmm. Well, I've got something to show you right now that might prove that he was real. Want to see? Here you go. <laughs> okay. Gotcha! Okay. Everybody hold okay, still. Okay. Oh, wait, I want to get this on camera. Come on. You're it, David. I can't be it. I'm cameraman. Oh. Where'd you get it? Last Hanukkah. Rachel's it. <laughs> um, Hanukkah's like Jewish Christmas or something. Yeah, that's it. It's Jewish Christmas. It is not, David. Don't say that. Well, you get presents and everything. It's a completely different thing. Okay, fine. Forget it. Rachel, are you gonna play or aren't you? Oh, you're it. Oh, man. I don't want to be it. Oh. oh. Rachel, isn't there another holiday when the Jews escaped from Moses or something? No. <laughs> Moses was Jewish. Oh. But we learned about him in church. Hmm. Church, temple, what's the difference? You probably learned about Moses crossing the Red Sea. Oh, I thought that was Columbus. No. <laughs> Listen, my grandpa knows everything about being Jewish. He owns the Olive Bet bookstore, you know. Well, maybe your grandpa should explain it. Okay. Ready, David? And action! Again with the camera. Put that thing away, David. <laughs> grandpa! Tell our friends a few things friends? about... What friends? Where are these friends? Come out, come out! Uh, Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that! <laughs> we wonder if you could tell Wait, our friends... Wait, Rachel, in a minute! First we say hello! So glad you could stop by at Olive Bet Books And since you drop by, you might as well look Come share your views Let's schmooze. Ha <laughs> ha! You've come to the right place. Dina, the new shipment of prayer books is in. I know, Dad, I know. All Jewish subjects we've got by the score. History, culture, religion, and more. It's a very special store. You've come to the right place. And here's where my dad. Where books tell tales triumphant and tragic And some of them seem almost like magic You've come to the right place Some people don't appreciate great art You won't find a battalion of books in Italian Swedish or Hungarian or French 
But if you like Torah or want a menorah Or if you like to learn to be a mensch You've come to the right place You've come to the right place You've come to the right place So what was it you wanted to know? About Moses. And Hanukkah. Moses and Hanukkah. And the Torah. And about being Jewish. And Columbus. <laughs> uh -huh. This one is very cute. New David, you don't have a question for me. Um, well, I'll ask you later, Grandpa. Ah, so many questions. I tell you what, why don't you lovely children come for our Friday night Shabbat dinner? Yeah, are we having mandel bread? Oh, for dessert, I'm sure. Uh, I'll go ask my mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do that. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, Bye. Uh, David, uh, just a minute, Tatula. There was something you wanted to know. It's just, well, uh, why do we have to be different? Different? Different from what? From an elephant we're different. No, I mean Jewish hmm? people. You know we celebrate Hanukkah instead of Christmas. We're different. So what's wrong with difference? Remember. If you're different from them, they're different from you. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry, Mr. Boomstein. I seem to have broken your bell. Oh, it's nothing. I have an extra for emergencies. Uh, David, uh, I have to help this nice customer. We'll talk at uh, dinner, okay, Booby? Okay, Grandpa. Mr. Boomstein, however did you do that? Do what? Make that box move. What box? Oh, that box. Now that's funny. <laughs> You're such a kidder, Mr. Boomstein. Yeah, always kidding around. Hmm. Hmm. What's so great about being Jewish anyway? Lots of things. Oh yeah, says who? Everybody. Bring your silly camera and I'll prove it. All right, Abe Boomstein. You're of a certain age when things change. So you're seeing strange things. So boxes are walking around. So it could be worse, no? Can't be! <laughs> Let's ask this group what they like about being Jewish. Excuse me, what's your favorite thing about being Jewish? I like being Jewish because I like Hanukkah. And I like get a lot of presents. One go solitary God. Humantashis. You get to like the candles. And my favorite food are potato latkes. What's your favorite thing about being Jewish? I like having a bat mitzvah and going to other people's bat mitzvahs. Being Jewish has a lot to explain about what happened and how things happened. Quorum Carnival and locks. We like to be Queen Esther. We're different individuals and we don't do the same exact thing that other religions do. So that makes us special. And what's your favorite thing about being Jewish? I like lighting the menorah, and I like when all our family and friends get together. When we go to temple, I like to hear the shofar. I like the holidays, and I like going to the synagogue because I like praying a lot with my family. I like being Jewish because I get to go to a Jewish school. I just like being Jewish. It's fun. <laughs> Shalom, and welcome to Aleph Bet Theater. Today we meet the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the letter Aleph. Hello, thank you. Yes, hello. Woohoohoo! Ha ha ha! You are not an Aleph. You are an Olive. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> ah, here's the Aleph. Shalom, everybody. 
The olive will now tell us what sound it makes. Ahem. The olive will now tell us what sound it makes. Would you mind telling us your sound, please? I did. I'm a silent letter. I don't have a sound unless you put a vowel under me. Oh, <laughs> of course, yes. See, with this one, I have the sound ah. And with this one, I have the sound e. Ha ha, very well, very well. We will now show you the Hebrew word for mom. E. Ma. E ma. Mom. And now the Hebrew word for dad. Ah. Uh. Ba. Abba. Dad. And so ends today's episode of Olive Pet Theater. Until next time, Shalom. Say, that was a great act. Are you sure you guys can't use an olive? <laughs> So it is fun to be Jewish. I'm just tired of having to explain it all the time. So you're worried about what your friends think? Well, yeah, maybe I am. Well, I feel that way too sometimes. <gasps> you do? Mom? Grandpa? Oh, oh. sorry. It's probably this old steam radiator knocking again. It always knocks. <laughs> yeah, it always knocks. <gasps> the radiator saw? I don't think so. <gasps> and I'm sure they don't drill. Wait a minute, the sound's coming from over there. A little remodeling. Uh, Ever notice how much work there is to do when you move into a new place? Uh, uh, do you like this picture over here? Uh, could you excuse us for a moment? Certainly, certainly. Is this happening? Maybe, maybe we should tell Grandpa. Tell him what? That we're talking to a purple mouse he'd never believe it. Well, I don't believe it. Uh, there are a lot of things you don't believe lately, David. Yep, I've noticed that. Uh, Say, uh, do you like this face over here? Nah, I don't like it there either. Uh, who are you? I thought you'd never ask. I'm a mouse. They call me Mitzvah Mouse. You could say I've been around. Hey, that was me. Crossing the Red Sea. Iced it shoulder to ankle with Judah Maccabee. And I was there. When Samson lost his hair, what a senseless tragedy. I was right at hand when we reached the promised land. I've seen all of Jewish history. That's me, Mitzvah Mouse. Uh, no way, hold on, that's impossible. There you go again. You know, there's a little saying I have. Some things have to be believed to be seen. Made that up myself. Well, I don't get it. You will. Um, blue or white? Wait a minute. This is about being Jewish, right? Let there be light. Uh, I didn't make that up. Grandpa's never gonna believe this. Oh, Dad. Huh? 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 Here, you can peel the potatoes. Huh? Oh, uh, potatoes I can peel. Mm-hmm. Uh... Dina, mm -hmm. have you seen anything uh, purple lately? Purple? Yeah. <gasps> really? Sure, an eggplant. <sighs> hey, we can make Baba ganoush. Uh, I was thinking of something a little more Jewish. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Really? Uh-huh, Aunt Sylvia's plum kugel. Uh, Let's make some. Uh, uh, 
I mean, downstairs, about so high, with purple hair. Uh, Daddy, you're talking about Mitzvah Mouse. Yeah. Uh, 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 I thought you were serious. I am. I mean, I'm not. Oh, Dad, I used to love those stories you told me about your little uh, Jewish friend, Mitzvah. Uh, you know, Dad, uh, I have to admit something to you. Yeah? What? What? I used to think he was real. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Dina, mm -hmm. what would you say uh, if I told you I saw Mitzvah Mouse in the store today? Uh, well, I'd say you probably fell asleep at the cash register again. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's it. I was dreaming. <laughs> hey, Dad, um, how about an onion in the salad? Yeah, an onion, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, in the salad, Dad. So I said to Moses, just turn right at that rock, and we'll be in the promised land in five, maybe ten weeks tops. But no, he goes left. So we're wandering around in the desert for 40 years. So I said to him, you're such a great leader, so lead us someplace already. <laughs> well, turns out he had his reasons. Great leaders, go figure. You didn't really know Moses. I've known them all, Rach. Look at this. Do, 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 do. <sighs> cool, what is it? It looks like a tiny Torah. Nope, it's a book. This is the way they looked in the old days, all paperbacks. What's it about? It's about Abraham. Boy, talk about different. Whew. Well, what do you mean? Well, he was the first Jew. Imagine how he must have felt. Well, how did he feel? Hmm, why don't we go ask him? Huh? Ask him? Yeah, right. What's that? Oh, it's my magic matzo meal. Aleph! What are you doing? Bet! Uh-oh. Blast off! Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Where are we? I'd say we're about 5,000 years east of the Aleph Bet bookstore. <gasps> well, uh, this is what you might call biblical times. <gasps> now, if I can just find Abraham. Abraham! Oh, Abraham! You just never know where these nomads are going to go next. Does this mean we're lost? Oh, I wouldn't use that word. Misplaced, I would use. Not knowing where we are, maybe. Without a clue? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. ah! Hey, you guys, play a little softer this time, huh? Oh, hi! Uh, welcome to Sheer Power. We were just doing a little tuning up here. Sheer means song in Hebrew, and we're gonna do a song for you in Hebrew. My name is Bermuda Schwartz. Uh, okay guys, uh, uh, just one more thing here. I gotta figure out how this keyboard works. What's that, strings? Oh, uh, turn it on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here we go! This song's called Am Yisrael Chai, which means the Jewish people live and our father lives. Sing along. We'd better get back to the story and find out what's happening with David and Rachel. Catch you later. Welcome to the middle of nowhere. Population three, including you. Oh, 
faces. You could plot before you get there. We'll never find Abraham. Ah, uh, don't worry. We just have to turn right at that rock. Or was it left? Idols! Get your idols! Get them while they're hot! Potent idols! Get them! They're all powerful idols! What are those? Ah, why? Everybody has one of these nowadays, Sonny. And you should, too. You're not one of those weirdos, are you, who wants to be different, are you, Sonny? No! Uh-uh! <laughs> of course you're not. That's why you should have one of these new and improved idols, guaranteed to answer all your prayers. Or my money back? Idols, get your idols. Get them now. Get them while they're hot. Hey, w wait. We're looking for Abraham. You know Abraham? Abraham's father used to be in the idol business, too, <laughs> until Abraham got this crazy idea that there's only one God. <laughs> you know what a thing like that could do to the idol business? But have you seen Abraham? And what if I have? Well, you see, we're members of his tribe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Immortal Ishtar! Now he's got a tribe! I'm gonna be out of business in a week. Idols! Idols! Half price! Coupons! I'll take anything! Double coupons! Idols! Wait! You didn't tell us how to find Abraham! Hey, maybe he knows where Abraham is. Allow me to be your humble servant. Uh, sure. Abraham! Mitzvah, my old friend. Come, you look weary. Please, honor me by being my guests at a modest meal. Great! Which way's the kitchen? All that I have is in this meager sack. The ways of the desert are simple and crude. We'll begin our meal with a parsley salad vinaigrette, followed by our main course, falafel florentine in a light creamy sauce. More water? Yes, please. Then we'll finish up with our tent specialty, prickly pear sorbet. Abraham is famous for his hospitality. Any questions about tonight's menu? Uh, yeah. When do we eat? Idle man. I got a delivery for you, Abraham. I told you I didn't want any more deliveries. Sorry, King Nimrod's orders. Where do you want them? There, by my axe. You got it. This one's for luck. This one will smite your enemies. A fertility god. I should have you sign, but I know you. Oh. David, he didn't tell us to start. But, uh... <gasps> have a mint? Uh, but we haven't even eaten yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Abraham, His Majesty King Nimrod would have words with you. Oh, great king, allow me to be your humble servant. Gladly, servant. Bow down to the idols I just sent you. I'm afraid I can't do that, O oh noble ruler. You alone have repeatedly refused to bow down to my idols. Why do you have to be different? I don't want to be like everyone else. You pray as you wish. I choose to worship the one God of creation. I'm giving you one more chance, Abraham. Bow down to my idols or die. That's impossible, O oh Majesty. You see, your idols have met a terrible fate. But how could this have happened? You've gone too far this time, Abraham. Majesty, it was not I that destroyed your idols. Look. It was the biggest idol who took the axe and destroyed the other idols. Bah! Everyone knows idols can't do things like that. But if they can't, why do you pray to them? Well, I, I, uh, 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 <laughs> the, the biggest idol, <laughs> the axe, <laughs> that's rich. <laughs> 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 Yay! <laughs> Being different takes courage, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. but it's worth it! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
This one god idea is interesting, Abraham, but keep it to yourself. And one more thing. I think your tent has mice. <laughs> I think I just had a weird dream. Me too. Mitzvah, did that really happen? <laughs> oh, Rachel, D David. <gasps> hey, we never got to eat. Dinner. <gasps> I've made your favorite. Soup with kanadalach and kugel and mandel bread for dessert. <gasps> mandel bread? Yum! <laughs> that sounds weird. It's not weird. It's food. Jewish food. It's different, but it's good. <laughs> so glad you could drop by at Olivet Books. I hope you're happy with what my mom cooks. Did you hear what she said? Mondo bread. You've come to the right place. So you're feeling better now, David. Yeah, Grandpa. And I learned something from Abraham. Uh, I mean from you, Grandpa. Oh? It's fun to be different, different is good. That makes things special in our neighborhood. That is so sweet. Yeah, now let's eat. <laughs> You've come to the right place. You've come to the right So maybe there really was a little purple Jewish mouse. Well, I do know this. I am proud to be Jewish. So if you happen to see a little purple mouse running around, let me know, won't you? See you next time.